Jen Ward with Sklanimals. We're here today with the PETA 2 and Sklanimals photo shoot for the Fur is Dead campaign. We are being shot by the famed Michelle Starr, and we have some amazing support with people like Audrey Kitching, Jessica Louise, Sean Starkey, Jason Majeau, who's one of the men's designers for the brand. We're lucky to have Clint Catalyst and Linda Strawberry and many others. I would never wear fur because, for one, I'm vegan and I don't support animal cruelty and I don't believe that animals should be skinned alive just for their fur coats. And I think it's tacky and disgusting and it's just, it's not hot. Yes, I choose not to wear fur because, one, I don't believe in killing animals. Secondly, because it's just tacky and it's for, you know, rich people, people who want to make themselves feel better. They'll wrap a dead animal around their neck and I just don't, I don't believe in that whatsoever. Why do I choose not to wear fur? Um, it's a pretty barbaric concept, I think. And with this day and age, we're not in the Stone Age anymore. We don't need to kill animals for warmth and stuff like that. We have so many new resources and, and different textiles in the fashion industry that it's just not necessary anymore, you know? The reason I don't wear fur, basically, is... Do you see those bunnies' faces? Why wear real fur when there's so many great alternatives? you can get now that are not only cheaper but they're fake which makes them a million times better so hey what's up i'm aldo i choose not to wear fur because i think it's tacky personally and i wouldn't want someone to skin me and wear me as a coat so i think it's really nasty hi i'm michelle star we're here doing a shoot for skull animals in PETA 2 and we're shooting nasty lush right now um, hey. <laughs> we did the group shots already today and now we're just doing some solos Hi, I'm Linda Strawberry, and I'm here with PETA 2 and Skull Animals. Um, I'm anti-fur because fur is beautiful on animals, but on people it looks grotesque. So hey, I'm Clint Catalyst. I'm at the Skull Animals photo shoot. It was a lot of fun. Um, I had to stand up uh, with my jacket pinned back. I almost fell a few times. But it's worth it for the cause. I was just worried more about the rabbit that I would have landed on, which is actually why I'm anti-fur, incidentally. And that is, when I was a little kid, I had a pet rabbit named Thumper. I remember a girl at my school got a rabbit coat and was very proud and pushing around with her rabbit coat on. And every time I saw her, I thought, that's Thumper. So <laughs> that was the beginning of me realizing that uh, once you make things more personal, then I believe there's more logic that, that can go into why somebody wouldn't. Or, and I think that's it. Hi, I'm Jamie Fox. I just got done with the PETA 2 Skull Animals photo shoot. I'm anti-fur because it's unethical and it's not right. Hey, I'm Davey Suicide. We're at the PETA 2 Skull Animals shoot in downtown Los Angeles. Um, I'm anti-fur basically because I've seen too many slaughterhouse things and I'm not into the animal cruelty. And I think at, at this point, enough manufacturers can find a way around to duplicate that without taking out animals along the way. So. Hi, I'm Anita Kay. I'm at the Skill Animal PETA 2 photo shoot. And I'm anti-fur because I can't stand the thought of animals being tortured. And it's been so far very fun. We've shot with bunnies and got their fur all over us. But it was worth it and I'm having a great time. Hello, hello. I'm Christine Dolce, aka Forbidden. I am here at the Skill Animals and also the PETA 2 photo shoot. It's been a great time, a lot of fun. And just want to say that I'm mainly here because I am anti-fur because I am anti-animal cruelty. No exception for it, for anybody's fashion sense. Um, I definitely, you know, support anti-fur and uh, I'm here today because of it. Hey there, I'm Carrie Daly. I work with the Bunny Bunch. We're a not-for-profit bunny rescue and education group and these are all my little foster bunnies over here. And they came out today to do the PETA 2 Fur is Dead campaign because they're the ones who would suffer if um, people wear fur. These cute little blobs of goodness are what makes fur coats. So it's really important to me as a bunny foster mom that we don't wear fur. These t-shirts are available at PETA2.com or PETACatwalk.org. Check them out.